Hi, my name's Annie, and today I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes to meet zookeeper Randy and learn what it takes to care for our polar bear. Let's go. Randy is a zookeeper in our carnivore section, and the polar bear is just one of the many animals that she cares for. Randy's been working here since 2015. Guys, come on into Rocky Coast Diet Kitchen. So the first thing I do every morning is I check on the animals. So I go up, see where Anoki is, see what she's doing, and then I head down to our diet kitchen and start working on her diet for the day. So she gets a variety of items. She can eat up to 15 pounds of food a day, so that's a lot to fill. She gets herring, sardines, and silver sides for fish. They're really, really fatty. She also gets pork. She gets some produce. Uh, sweet potato and carrots are her favorites for sure. Um, then she also gets what we call polar bear chow, and I kind of equate it to dog food. It just has extra nutrients and everything else that she needs. So I'll call Anoki inside. I'll give her lots of fish for coming in when I ask her to, and then I lock her in so that I can clean her outdoor habitat safely. Um, to keep her and I both safe, we never share the same area. So once Anoki's in, I head outside, and then I start picking up her poop. Um, big bear means big poops. So there's a lot to clean up. Um, after I sweep it all up, I give the beach a good hosing, I'll scrub it down, and then I can set up her enrichment. So after cleaning her outdoor habitat comes the fun stuff. I put out new enrichment for her, I switch out her toys, um, I put out new scents for her and hide her food around. The big plastic toys are definitely her favorite though because she can throw them around and have a lot of fun with them. I'll also put out her food in different spots so she kind of has to hunt and look around for it. And I'll put food in her enrichment items as well so she really has to move them around in order to get her food. So this is our large polar bear holding room. Um, and Oki has a lot of space in here and a lot of options. So she has a nice big sand bed over here. She spends a lot of time, whether she's digging or she's choosing to take a nap in there. We also have an indoor pool for her. So while I'm out cleaning her habitat, she has the option to go swimming. Sometimes she'll come in from her habitat and take a dip in this one. We've also got some nice big logs that she's been really tearing apart with her claws lately. Our middle room here we use for training. So this open area gives us a lot of access to her body. Um, she is trained for voluntary injections, so we can have her line up against the mesh here. She'll push her shoulder up into it and we can give her a shot. Whether it's a vaccination, whether we're going to be doing an exam on her and we need to put her anesthesia. Um, she is very calm and allows one of our other members to come in while I'm positioning her and inject her right in her shoulder. We also have a blood draw sleeve here that we've been working on and just this past month we've had our first successful blood draw from a Noki's paw. And our last room that we have for a Noki, it's a little bit smaller, it's more like a den. Another part of being a zookeeper is training with the animals. So training is really important with our animals, not only to make sure that they're doing well, but it makes a fun, like, positive relationship that we share with them. So I can have Anoki do different behaviors, like open up her mouth so we can get a good look at her teeth. I can have her stand up on her hind legs, show people how big she really is, but also we can get a good look at her paws and her belly and just do a really good overall physical exam on her without having to put her under anesthesia. When Anoki chooses to participate in her training, she always gets a food reward, which ensures that it's a good experience for her. So throughout the day, I'll continue to throw Anoki food and her enrichment. On the really hot days, I give her some ice blocks, sometimes with her food frozen right inside, and other things she has to work for to get the food, but it helps keep her cool as well. Um, we also have an ice machine, so we can give her big ice beds to help keep her cool. 
And again, she has that big swimming pool so she can pool all through the summer. Then again, before I leave for the day, I go through, double check my locks and doors, make sure Anoki's set for the night. And she may wander in and out throughout the night because she does have access throughout the day and night to both indoor and outdoor areas. Um, a lot of times she'll come inside when she is ready to go to sleep though. Thanks for joining us for a behind the scenes look at what it takes to be a polar bear zookeeper. So if you wanna learn more about polar bears or any of our other animals here, or even how to get into zookeeping as a career, Come on out to Seneca Park Zoo and talk to our staff. We would love to answer your questions.